Good evening, comrade subscribers. Thought we'd start trying to build this, see if it works. Uh, video interface, well, it's a recreation of the original video interface. Uh, VIO, I think it was called, uh, for the MPF, for the microprofessor. So I do have some parts. Unfortunately, there is no handy bomb, um, so you can just go through and order all the parts. So I'm going to have to. Oh no! Like the good old, like the olden days, I have to actually look at the schematic, figure out what the parts are, and look at the photo to see how how the board was made. So um, I've ordered the. Um, this is a CRTC six eight four five. I've ordered. I've ordered some of those from China. And. Probably some of the parts I do actually have a four pin eight megahertz crystal, so that should be okay. Uh, we've got some seven four logic, two ROMs, uh, some memory, which is quite small actually, a six one one six. I don't know if I've got a, got one of those. Might have to order one of those. Uh, doo -doo -doo. There was one other one. I thought there was one other part I was looking. Oh yeah, the transistor, a BF four five seven. They are obsolete. Q one BF four five seven. So uh, I'm not sure about that one. The ones that I've looked up that are apparently equivalent, I can't find either. But hey, <laughs> at least I didn't have to design it myself. I, yeah, so I can't, I'm not really complaining. Uh, right. Yeah, crystal's got to go in one way. So it'll go in that way. So I'll build what I can today. And I'll see what's left over. And uh, see what I need to order. So I've got a, a regulator there. Got some sort of socket, I guess, for the RCA. So you can get like a socket. I guess a vertical socket. Um... 2.1 mil um, power socket there. Yeah, all right, we'll see how we go. So getting the board ready, so I've noticed one small issue is that, well, especially if you're using these um, round pin, um, what's the word? If you've got your tiny little MLCC capacitor, it's, um, yeah. So probably put the, put the sockets in first, then squeeze the capacitors in between uh, I haven't I haven't solved the capacitors in yet so it's a good thing I didn't uh, these ones are okay this one's okay but uh, yeah these ones it's a little bit too too squishy right I've got about as far as I can go with the parts that I've got um, for the power supply so they've got They've got a 7805 uh, linear regulator with the capacitors around it. So, but they, I don't think they, these capacitors aren't needed if you're using a switching capacitor. You don't need those. So there's, there's C1, which is supposed to be 2.2 micro, and then C3, which is 100 micro. So I've got C2 in there because I, I had those anyway. Uh, so, well, that's C9 actually. Yeah, okay, where's C2? C1, C3, oh, C2's up there. So we've got C, so C2 and C3 are, are electrolytics. Uh, well, C3, okay, only C2's. C, C2, C2, C2. C2. Hang on, is up there. C9, okay, that's, no, that's C1. C1 is 2.2 micro, and then we've got C3, which is 100 micro. Um, but again, I'm going to be using a switching electrolytic, uh, switching regulator, so I don't think they're really needed. Um, but if I look on the example, the example build, we can see we've got a switching, and we do actually have C1 in there, which is a 2.2 microphone. So I'll stick that in. I'll, I'll stick that one in at least and then stick the switching regulator in. I'm not sure. I'll see what resistors I've got. Uh, there's a couple of headers on here. So this I'll just put a pin header so you can choose what size EEPROM you've got there. 
uh, for this one here, uh, white on black or black on white. So I'm thinking of maybe putting a switch. I've got a little switch so I can, that'll fit in there nicely. Uh, then we've got this high address and low address, light pen. Um, well, light pen's no good unless you're using a CRT. But yeah, I'm not sure about this low address and high address. Uh, in the... Oh, and then we've got the um, address for the IO, CRT IO. So in here, he's got it wired. Uh, so, yeah, so just about, well, <laughs> apart from all the missing ICs, <laughs> but I need to check what I need to order. Um, but, you know, once they're ordered, it's just boom, 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 boom. I don't actually have to go and solder them in because the soldering's already done. So, yeah, let me finish off the power section. And yeah, he doesn't have, for this variable resistor here, RV1, that's on the output here. So it's normally 220 ohms by the looks of it. So I think he's just got it hard, hard wide as 220. Yeah, red, red, black, black. So it looks like he's just got 220 in there. So I might be able to do that as well. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, so I think the difficult one is going to be this transistor. I need to figure out what the correct, what the correct um, replacement is for a for a BF four five seven in that kind of thin, thin plastic. <laughs> Here I am doing it like that in case you can. <laughs> Idiot. Right. Okay, let me finish this off. And I think, there we go, I think that's as much as I can do tonight. So I've got the power supply in. Uh, da, da, da. So I need to get the RCA socket for there. Uh, power uh, DC, 2.1 mil DC socket for there. Some resistors. Oh, and all the chips. <laughs> well, probably most of the chips. I probably have one or two. Um, but yeah, I've got the crystal at least. So there we go. Um, let's see. I'll have to, I'll have to basically. Go, I think I've already gone through this, and I think most of the stuff I'm going to have to get from Mouser. I can't get from um, Element 14. So I'm going to have to. Um, yeah, 74LS245. I've got those. I've got some of those. Uh, U14, U15, so I've got those. Same for else, 157, not sure. Uh, U16, U17. Anyway, I'll make a list and I'll probably stick it in the description as well. Okay, fingers crossed, it works. Bye for now.